Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what your person wants to tell you, uh, Gemini. Let's see. Beauty queen. So they feel like you get a lot of attention on some platform. You're living your best life. Uh, there's a lot of people vying for your attention. Um, you could be a beauty queen, an ex-beauty queen, or now beauty queen. Destiny. They feel like it's destiny. But the hand of destiny needs to take a toll here in order for them to be back with you or talk to you or they feel like it was destiny to meet you to be in relation with you long distance so this relationship uh, could be going through maybe uh, a distance a, a term of maybe you guys not being as close as you used to be all right let's see karma someone feels like this is a karmic connection where they had something to learn or you have something to learn or it's mutual someone feels like um it, it could be for the short term also gifts someone feels like um you get a lot of gifts or you get a lot of um you could be sharing your gifts friendship triangle yeah so somebody feels like you're keeping your options open okay um somebody is also trying to buy you or yeah buy your affection or your love Maybe um, you're keeping someone as a friend with benefit here. Somebody feels as if you've got ulterior motives or maybe you're dealing with someone with an ulterior motive with a brunette female. Your person could feel like you, you have a new love or they have a new love, past love. Um, they could feel like um, maybe you guys have broke up in the past, okay? And then you went and found someone new. They could feel as if you're dating, dating multiple people. You're just dating and it's not exclusive. You're not exclusive to anyone. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Let's see how you feel, how you feel about this connection or any connection that you're in, Gemini. So your person just feels like, you know, they are one of many or vice versa. This is how you feel. You feel like you're one of many in terms of your person. Let's see. Let's, all right. Okay, let's see. Courtship. All right, with marriage. So maybe you feel like some relationship is going to go towards marriage or you want a relationship to go towards marriage because it is the three and the four. So... Some of you, you feel like you need to work on this relationship. You need to work on this marriage or somebody wants to work on a marriage. Maybe, yeah, with some wealthy man, you feel like it's hard to be with this person or it's hard work in terms of trying to fix this relationship because somebody keeps their options open. Somebody could feel this way about you, Gemini, also. Yeah, all of a sudden, maybe um, you're in a relationship or all of a sudden somebody, um, yeah, all of a sudden somebody's in a relationship or somebody is, is doing well. Yeah, occupation. Um, all of a sudden somebody's occupied with another person. Expectation when somebody was expecting for the, somebody to come back or to make the investment. Somebody was expecting for you to get back with this person or vice versa. You were expecting to get back with them. False person. It just seems as if maybe somebody um, has an ulterior motive, a hidden agenda. Concern card. It, somebody was slipping into some like depression here because they weren't getting the outcome that they were expecting or wanting. What should the Gemini be focused on moving forward? What should Gemini be focused on moving forward? Welcoming the new. All right, so you shouldn't be thinking about the past here. 
self-employment. Um, what should... There was some woman here who keeps options open. Maybe you were vying for this person or vice versa. This is you. Somebody, you keep options open. Somebody was like wanting you to choose them, wanting you to be exclusive. And somebody is just not about that life. Not now. Not ever, but not now. What should the Gemini be concerned about moving forward? Memories. Yeah, memories will keep you tied to this person. But at the same time, you got to keep the faith and move on. Keep moving. What should, yeah, volunteer, maybe even go and sit with um, a therapist, psychoanalyst, and volunteer how you feel so you can unpack that. Um, yeah, you should be focused on maybe finding your true soulmate, seeking and finding here. You see that? And then also sobriety. Keep your mind and your, and your heart clutter free, okay? You should be focused on your finances too. Things could be turning around for you, looking well for you. Let's see, why should Gemini continuously focus on something else or maybe leaving the past behind? Why should Gemini focus on leaving the past behind? Whoa. Okay. All right. Um, tele telepathy. So you and someone could be communicating. Um by way of you know brain patterns and, and just you know thinking about each other you know extensively you should leave somebody alone because i don't know there could be some curses or some wickedness associated with this person you also could be dealing with somebody who has some spoiled rotten children um or or maybe you have the kids that are spoiled rotten why should Gemini leave a past person alone? Yeah, it's something about your health declining or the health of the relationship could be declining, especially if somebody's associated with negativity. Yeah, you caught them cheating or you got caught cheating because somebody as materialistic as F could be you, could be the other person. This is coming out again, spoiled rotten children here. Um, why should Gemini walk away from this person or people or maybe you know somebody's just addicted to love so they'd love anybody someone could have suffered child abuse or they are a child abuser why should gemini um you could talk to this person for hours blah 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 um so it's like maybe this person is a lot of talk you know and not enough action um what is the future energy for Gemini if they take the advice of the cards? What's the future? Okay. Um, you're going to leave this person out in the cold with the poverty card. You know, and they're going to feel the ramifications of you leaving them alone. You're going to become that official person. You're going to have uh, everything in order. You're going to go in a new pathway. Things are going to open up to you. You're going to transform um what is the future energy if gemini takes the advice of the cards the um you can possibly um get around uh being taken advantage of lied to use in terms of this thief you're gonna learn maturity also you're gonna get an opportunity to change maybe have a change of scenery or just a change of relationship too you could possibly meet someone new. If Gemini takes the advice of the cards, wow, great fortune will come to you. Um, and then we also have one more card. Let's see. Um, main male. Maybe you'll have someone come into you, someone new. So it looks like if you take the advice of the cards, Gemini, things can open up for you you don't have to be concerned about the past and a past person and maybe um, someone being unresponsive to your you know your advances or not wanting what you want especially if you caught them cheating if negativity is associated with them um you can let this go also there's somebody here who has um, some unruly children or some just some you know they have to deal with some things in their own life Okay, 
Uh, it's like you're gonna dodge a bullet here. You need to be focused on welcoming the new, self-employment, okay? Um, some of you wanna make a relationship work, but it might be extremely hard, okay? All right, so let's see, one last card. Yeah, it says, I can't and I don't take you serious. Sure. So somebody's just not taking you serious, okay? Because um, maybe you're not taking them serious, they're not taking you serious. Somebody had several hidden affairs and you could be learning about it. Somebody is horrible with money, okay? And maybe that's why finances came up and maybe this is why somebody is wanting to be back with you. Um, you need to understand that if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie, Gemini. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for being here. Go over to the website, book there, and ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.